if you want a Lego, well, big old Lego of Daisy, there you go. Uh, Please do not touch. I think my wife just touched it. I did not. Everybody, another update from the road. Hello, hi, family, friends. We are somewhere in the middle of Tennessee right now. Spent the night in Clarksville, yep. Tennessee, at a Cracker Barrel. So now we're on our way to somewhere in North Carolina. I forget Hickory, North Carolina, to stay at another Cracker Barrel tonight. And so today we went to Cooter's Garage, which is a Dukes of Hazard museum. All right, well, hello from Nashville. We are at Cooter's. And if anybody knows what that, who that is, you know what that is. If you know what that is, you know who that is. Anyway, I had to stop in. I love watching this show, Dukes of Hazard. When I was a kid, watched it all the time. So, although it's funny you watch it now, it's just a lot different experience than when it was when you were a kid. But anyway, we're gonna go inside and check things out, but uh, had to stop by here. I guess I'm a sucker for this kind of stuff. I love all this uh, scale model, well, scale, I don't know, but all this model stuff. Got Cooter's car here, then we got the uh, Boss Hogs, or not Boss Hogs car, but the, uh, oh, what's his face? The, the, the police officer, I can't think of his name. Anyway, that's his car there. Now we got Daisy's Jeep, Dixie, all Daisy Duke stuff. Legos. If you want a Lego, well, big old Lego of Daisy. There you go. Uh, Please do not touch. I think my wife just touched it. I did not. <laughs> and if you go there, then you have to go next door, which is the Grand Old Opry. Oh, yeah. So we walked around there. Didn't go inside, take the tour, but we didn't have time really. But we walked around the grounds there and, and just kind of went in the gift shop that's, that's attached, that, that, that's in the Grand Old Opry. And, We got uh, my wife over here on the phone. Behind me over here is the Grand Ole Opry. It's kind of cool. You know, I, I love country music. Actually, I love all kinds of music, but uh, sometimes I'm a closet cowboy because most of my friends don't care for country music. So, <laughs> but anyway, they're all gonna find out today that I like country music. But this is cool. They got a. Uh, you know, all these banners and posters of all these people that uh, played here and, you know, as you know, you've seen it all on TV back, you know, uh, here we go, Miss Minnie Pearl, you know, we, we've all watched the TV show, uh, Hee Haw. But anyway, it's kind of cool to be here at the Grand Royal Opry. Uh, we're not going to take the tour, we got to get back on the road. They got these huge guitars uh, here back in the background.
we were gonna be here a day early and I thought about coming to a show here. They have like five or six artists that play. That would have been Wednesday night, but we broke down and so we didn't make it here. You know, it's kind of fun to see something that's been a part of our country for many years and just especially when it comes to the music world Nashville is kind of the hub and uh, Grand Ole Opry is kind of the what do you call uh, the, the iconic symbol of country music it was neat I think uh, both of us didn't know I mean I've always wanted to go there just because I, I like country music and she wasn't really excited about going there because I think her, what was in her mind's eye was what, what didn't seem that thrilling but we got there you actually you were ple pleasantly surprised weren't oh, you? Oh it's absolutely beautiful yeah it's um what I learned there was the Opry House is about 90 years old and I think they've really taken uh, great pride in keeping the to have some barbecue at Mission Barbecue right next door to the Reed, or Reed Opera House. That, right next to the uh, Grand Ole Opry. Fantastic place. If you're ever in the area, you have to go to Mission Barbecue. Great food. They support our military and first responders heavily. Uh, the whole place is in, you know, decorated with that kind of uh, memorabilia and whatnot. So. best pulled pork I think I've ever had. This is just, it's smoky flavored. I put just regular barbecue sauce on them, twangy. I don't like twangy stuff. But this is just, I don't know, I love barbecue, but this is the best barbecue I think I've ever had. So, Mission, Mission Barbecue, Nashville, Tennessee, right next to the Grand Ole Opry. Oh, there you go. Advertisement. So if you're ever in Nashville, you ever go to the Grand Ole Opry, you gotta stop by here. You can't miss it because the smell, you can <laughs> smell it as you're walking around the Opry outside. You can smell the barbecue. I think it's done on purpose. But anyway, fantastic. Highly recommend it. We were there at lunchtime at 12 o'clock every day. They make a quick announcement. You stand up. We all sing the national anthem. There's a flag hanging in the middle of, middle of the restaurant. That's right. Ladies and gentlemen, please join us in honoring our country as we do every day at noon with the singing of our national anthem. goosebumps and, and you know puts a little bit of tear in your eye when you're doing that it's really cool so are you kidding me I'm eating lunch at a restaurant singing the national singing the national anthem it was I don't know today's weird environment it's just cool to be at a place that still honors uh, our country and our military like they do anyway highly recommend it anyway just a quick update from the road yeah. heading to Cracker Barrel again tonight God's Good. continuing to bless our uh, travels. Thank you for everyone who's praying for us. And God, yeah. thank you again for this opportunity. With that being said, when we were broke down for a day, at first it was like, man, this is not good, not good. I got to tell you, that was orchestrated by God because it gave us a day. We were there for 24 hours. Yeah. A day to be out of the RV, walking around, enjoying a quaint little town. You know, we were, it was, 
you know four or five days driving it it gets to you after yeah. a while so yeah. we ended up there was a much needed break and enjoyed the people everybody was fantastic we had some good food while we were there so yeah, couldn't, good. couldn't ask for a, a better time so yeah. anyway that that what seemed like a curse was actually a blessing so uh, other than it cost a few dollars to fix the RV. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, that's it. They on the road. We'll talk to you soon. All right. Bye, family. Bye.